for you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. Sources tell the New York Post about bombshell evidence in the Aton Page case. Detectives searching the home of confessed killer Pedro Hernandez reportedly found an old toy and age-appropriate clothing. The clothes appear to be from the 1970s. They'll be tested for DNA. Six-year-old Aton disappeared in 1979. The Sun Sentinel of Florida says an Orlando man got his first cell phone last month and immediately started getting threatening phone calls. That's because T-Mobile gave him the number that used to belong to George Zimmerman, who was accused of murdering teen Trayvon Martin. That man now has a new number. USA Today reports the unusually warm spring has helped heat up the economy. The spring was the warmest ever recorded in U.S. history. The Federal Reserve says it boosted tourism from Florida to Broadway. Britain's Guardian has a follow-up on a story we brought you yesterday from Greece when a left-wing politician was slapped three times on live TV. Hard to forget this video. Uh, slapped by a spokesman for an extreme right-wing party. Well, the woman says today that the Golden Dawn Party is a force of darkness and is urging voters to punish the party at the polls. In Texas, the Victoria Advocate says officials are considering an 85 miles per hour speed limit the highest in the country, a 41-mile stretch of Highway 130 between Austin and Sajin is being tested. And the Washington Post says fax machines are still important in some places due to language and culture. In Japan, businesses often fax instead of email. People say it's because Japan has a traditional reverence for paper and handwriting. Also, faxes are a lot more reliable.